morning, YouTube. How are you? It is a beautiful morning here in Oregon. It's a little overcast, but no rain, so I'm happy about that. It's been raining a lot. So how are you guys? Hope you're having a great day. So what's going on with Chantal? Well, she did a live last night. I was just really tired, so I didn't even touch it. I want to go over it today and see if there's anything worth talking about. There are some tidbits in the live, including... Salah made an appearance. He didn't come on camera. He was off camera. He handed Chantal Howie the hamster. But in the process of handing over the hamster, he did not sound happy. He didn't sound happy at all. He sounded rather ticked off as if he were forced to come on camera. Maybe he and Chantal had a little conversation and she said to him that he's been gone too long and people have been asking too many questions. So he had to make some sort of an appearance, even though, like I said, he did not come on camera. She did a lot of cat deflection throughout the live, talking about little tidbits here and there. So I want to go over it as well as go over some stuff on Twitter. So why don't we just get into it? OK, so let's start with all the wonderful Twitter stuff. Uh, also, Chantal did a mukbang. Another one. Yeah, another one like we really wanted another one. And you guys will see like a, some brief clips of it. You guys know how I feel about the eating stuff. Don't like it. But I'll give you guys a preview via the clips on Twitter about what's going on there. So let's start here, courtesy of Kristen. Kristen's always great about showing all the video tags. Uh, for those who are not aware, you can put tags on your videos that if somebody's doing a search on something, if you're searching for a certain something and somebody tags a video of something, then your video might pop up. And so what are the tags for Foodie's latest mukbang? She puts pizza mukbang, spicy food mukbang, mukbang eating, crunchy eating sounds, crunchy pickles, ASMR, YouTuber food, cheat day, cheat meal. So should someone with severe blood sugar and high blood pressure be having a cheap day? Should they be doing a mukbang at all? Especially if they have a problem with food? No. You know, at this point, I don't even know why Chantal continues to say that she cares about her health when clearly she doesn't. Why not just come right out and say to all of us, look, I don't give a flip about my health. I just don't care. I want to come on camera, eat food, get paid for it, and end a conversation because that's really what's going on but she's saying she's having a cheat day implying that she's taking care of her health every other day when clearly she's not that's why that tag is not appropriate i'd also saying uh crunchy pickles asmr the thing with asmr videos usually there's no talking you're just focusing on the sounds of the eating but there's no conversation I know because I've seen other ASMR videos. In the beginning, the person might whisper a little bit like, how are you, how are you? But then they stop talking after that and they just eat. So this is truly not an ASMR video, Chantal. This is you talking and putting unnecessary tags on your video that really don't belong there, trying to get yourself into the ASMR content when really it's not. So just putting all these unnecessary tags is just unwarranted. Okay, Ghost Crab says, what has changed about Foodie Beauty? She sits in a chair that rolls around, eats, ignores her health, has a caretaker she pays, rages at FFG, deletes the rages, squints at chats, abuses the VIB uh, people, neglects pets. If anything, she is less independent and has to wait until the caretaker walks slash drives her just like Big Al. Yep. So what has changed? Well, I guess we can say that what's changed about Chantal is uh, her manner of dress, but everything else is exactly the same, isn't it? Right down to raging at FFG. She did that in Canada. She's also doing that in Kuwait. So not much has changed. And Chantal, if you're going to do the same content in the same tone, why not just go back to Canada? I mean, cut your expenses down. You're paying for a guy that doesn't want to be around you. You can easily go back to Canada and have Pete's take care of you. What is the point of being Kuwait? It makes no sense. Uh, 
down here we have queen of WTF saying, how are you cheating on your diet when you never started one? Good question. So there is her thumbnail. You can see what she's eating. It looks like a homemade pizza. So yeah, you're really caring about your diet, aren't you, Chantal? Hey, it is what it is. It's, it's your hospital visit, I guess. Ghost Crab says, look how excited 480 months old baby Miriam is to show you her drizzy and pizzy. Eh? So cute. Yeah, this was an odd setup. She's got the, uh, like, like a wine glass. Why not use a regular glass? A jar of pickles. Can't even bother to put the pickles into a bowl and a huge pizza. Nice. Real professional looking. Uh, D Angry Scott says, slow-mo camel attack on foodie. I would have paid good money to see the camel finish her off. You know what? Chantal is extremely lucky she didn't get more hurt. Those are wild camels. And I watched the video with you guys. She was doing the most with those camels. She was wrapping her arms around the neck of the camel, and, you know, holding onto his head. It's, it's kind of a dominant thing. You're exerting dominance over a wild animal. And I've, it's also been pointed out that the camel in question was not feeling well, that it had diarrhea running down its leg. So the camel already doesn't feel good. It's obviously not well, and you're going to aggravate it by going up to it. It doesn't know you. You're unfamiliar. And you're going to wrap your arms around the camel's neck. You're going to get that close to its head. Like you are essentially in a, almost a threatening manner, like putting your face close to its face. So the camel, I feel, was warning her. As you can see, the camel is much bigger than Chantal. It gave her a warning kick to get away from it. And it basically charges Chantal with its head up. It was ready to do some more damage. And that's why there was that jump cut. She was trying to get away from it. But when you F around, you're going to find out, Chantal, you need to leave those camels alone. If you're unfamiliar, it, they don't want you around. Wild animals are called wild animals for a reason. So you, you got off light, Chantal, because an animal like a cattle can kick you across a desert like a beach ball. You, you, you just by dumb luck, you didn't get hurt. Okay, so... Tat Von B says, F me. <laughs> you can hardly see her arms move. Yeah, like that, that's all she can move anymore is her arms. That was so cringe. Okay, so Lord Vogquad, this is the clip in the live where I believe Salah entered the chat. So let's watch. Big man. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Uh, just put him here, yeah. He doesn't know. We want to say hi. Is he awake? Yeah, he didn't sound excited to talk to Chantal or be around Chantal. He goes, hello, how are you? I mean, he sounds enthused, doesn't he? He's her husband. She's his wife. And he's acting like bringing the, the hamster is the worst thing in the world. You might as well just ask the guy to walk across fiery coals. <laughs> So he wasn't happy at all. Big man. And he's still staying off camera. He will not show his face on camera. Like, I don't know exactly. I can't say for sure. But this just felt like is something that he did not want to do. He did not want to come on camera in any capacity. And this was like, you have to do this, Salah. You have to do this. He's not thrilled. Let me take him out of the like look at her instead of her just staying centered in front of the camera and him walking over to it and handing her the hamster she's on the far edge she scooted the gaming chair over to get the hamster to where he would not be seen so clearly he doesn't want to do it so that was the clip where Salah kind of entered into the frame a little bit, at least his voice, although he didn't sound happy. Uh, Hidden Truth says, Foodie Beauty, do you think Salah was there or lives in his own place nearby? She only asked Salah to bring Howie because everyone kept saying he doesn't live there because she says, watch everyone will say you're not living here. Yeah, well, here's another tell. Here's something else is telling. 
it's early in the morning. Chantal hates being up during the daytime. She's got full makeup on, got her eyebrows done and all that. Since when? Since when does Chantal have a full face of makeup in the morning? Clearly, they had something to do. And that's why she's up. And that's why he's there. So maybe she decided to take advantage of the moment and have him like bring Howie to her. But any other time, early in the morning, he's not there. Late at night, he's not there. We know he's not there, Chantal. We know he's not there. You got your makeup on. Maybe you got your makeup on for a lot because he was coming over. But honestly, he doesn't care if you got makeup on or not. He doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to come on camera. Don't make him. Uh, Hen Truth, Foodie Beauty, she asked twice, like Salah wasn't inside the room for him to show himself. It sounds like two doors opening. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So if he was in the house, and let's just say he was in the bedroom, and he was just in the other room, wouldn't it just be one door opening? Why are there two? What's going on with that? But let's watch the clip. Envelope. They see Howie first. Babe. Oh, we're back to that crap again. Calling him babe. That's so annoying. Can you bring Howie? But just the hamster if you can grab him. Not the whole cage. <laughs> if not, then bring the whole cage and I'll grab him. I want to show you guys Howie first. I don't think she cared to show Howie the hamster. She just wanted an excuse for Salah to, wherever he was in the room, to get up and come near her. Just try to find an excuse to include him in the live stream somewhere. I mean, she could have gotten up and gotten Howie the hamster. What's wrong with her? Why can't she get up and do it? Everybody introducing Howard the <laughs> Third. Yeah, remember when she used to show off the hamster all the time? Now we barely see the hamster. So that little joke of her, Howie the Third, that might actually be a thing. This might be the third Howie. Babe. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for the warm welcome. Babe, do you want to bring Howie or no? Oh, yes. Howie. I know Kina Bear, right? He doesn't live here. If he was in the other room, you know he's thinking, crap. I got to bring her the freaking hamster. Why doesn't she do it? You know he's thinking that. They're going to say he just came here. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, because everybody's calling you out for that, that he is never there. And the community post that you did, that was done at 4 o'clock in the morning. Why is it that all of your stuff is 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning? Who is newly married, I ask you? What couple that is newly married, still in their honeymoon phase, and you're not in bed with your husband, if he's there? If you have a husband, you love them. Three, four o'clock in the morning, you're sleeping next to your husband. You're in bed, unless you're a night owl and you work late hours or something. But three, four o'clock in the morning, and you're up there raging on your community post and you're doing live streams, you tell on yourself, Chantal. But we love that about you. We love that. We love the fact that you tell on yourself. A happily married wife with a husband who's devoted to her wouldn't be up at three, four in the morning posting anything. Or if they do, it's of a happy nature, not an angry nature. So just having Salah come on camera for like half a second to hand the hamster to you doesn't prove anything. Big man. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Uh, just put him here. Yeah. Here's how we want to say hi. Is he awake? Is it... <laughs> Didn't he just sound happy to see Chantal? Big man. I think so. I'm take like, break. here's the hamster. I'm out. I'm gone. Bye. Big <laughs> man. 
So he's like, here's the hamster. I'll take the cat. Bye. Ooh, that's telling. I'm just going to take the cat and, and leave the room right now. Can you feel the chill, y'all? Can you feel it? I felt it from here. Yeah. Howie. <laughs> and you know what, Chantal? You're also telling on yourself. The more you fawn over your pets, the more it's obvious that the fawning over the pets is a deflection from the lack of affection that you have with Salah. Because I remember all the way back when the two of you first got acquainted, you were all about fawning over your husband and you give a flip less about your pets. Now it's all about fawning over your pets and not because you're a good person and not because you love animals, but because you're trying to deflect away from the distance between you and Salah, the lack of affection. You're transferring that need for affection onto your pets, although at the same time, you don't care for them. But go ahead, tell on yourself. Hello. So that was the clip courtesy of Hidden Trues. Uh, DX says, the filters are filtery today. Yes, they are. Uh, she's getting up with no groaning or remnant of pain. Yeah, isn't that interesting? So this morning there, and she just finished getting ready, having collagen and cold water, as if that's going to do anything for her. Hmm. So that was just like a brief recap of the beginning. So we're all caught up with everything on Twitter. Let's get into the actual live stream. Actually, you know what? Hold on a minute. Before we get into that, before we get into that, let's let's check out something else real quick. Oh, also, she did a video going after FFG, and that was posted at 4 in the morning also. But she did a community post, also 4 in the morning. So you guys want to see, like, her raging again? Want to cover it real quick? Okay. Let's cover it real quick. This was done a day ago. Talking about FFG. Saying this weirdo has literally no content or anything to talk about except freezer burnt veggies. I made this days ago, not on V-Day. Anything, nothing to say. I love you like spending V-Day at Shannon's talking about me like you did last year. Chantal, what do you care how people spend Valentine's Day? It's not your business. I spent V-Day alone and I'm fine with that. What is the point? You didn't spend V-Day like you wanted to. We didn't get a video of you and Salah and he was buying you flowers with your money. Buying a gift with your money. You didn't do the vlog that you wanted to do to rub your husband in our faces. So you're mad over there. And this just proves she watches FFG. You know, and FFG commented on the freezer burnt veggies, which I have to concur with Frenchie. That's disgusting. Making a pot pie with freezer burnt veggies. I mean, why not just get fresh veggies before you make the pot pie? It makes no sense. So once again, raging at FFG for no reason other than the fact she's bored. Ugh. Get a grip, Chantal. It's, your marriage is a non-issue. Just go back home. <laughs> go back home, girl. Go back home. All right. So on to the live stream itself. And we're going to jump around a lot because she does get boring. I ain't going to lie. She does get boring. She, she goes from one topic to the next. And she relies on her chat to give her things to talk about. Although... The slides went on for like an hour and 22 minutes. You guys know I do my tarot lives and I can easily just keep the conversation going for like three hours, but not her. She's so lazy. She can't even prepare for anything to talk about. But enough with that. Let's get into her live stream and just if it gets boring, she starts talking about food. We're jumping ahead. Let's do this. Hi, Blondie Barstow. They're so tall. Yeah. Perfect wings. They're actually not. Look at look closely. This one is shorter. Can I ask a question before we get started? Why is it that when she does a freaking mukbang, those eating noises are way too loud? But when it comes to her live chats, you can barely hear her. Does that even make sense? It doesn't make sense, does it? 
during the mukbangs when we don't want to hear her we can hear the jaw clicking we can hear her swallowing things my god get your audio issues worked out chantal you know what the only thing i can suggest is practice makes perfect with that because i don't know and look at my eyeshadow's not blended i don't know why i bother you know what because if i don't wear makeup if I don't. Why is she whispering? It's eight o'clock in the morning. She doesn't have to whisper. I seriously look my age. I look 40. Like I look old. Okay, so I saw this last night. And the first and I'm not trying to be mean. Okay, I'm not a mean person. Y'all know that. I get mad and I go off sometimes, but I gotta ask the question. Woman to woman, Chantal, what is going on with you that you got? Girl, are you getting any sleep? You've got huge bags underneath your eyes that were not there before. Are you getting your sleep? It doesn't look like you're getting your sleep. You even got the filters running. You've got the skin smoothing filter. You've got the contour filter. I could only imagine how that looks without the filter. And I'm not picking on anybody that has the eye bags. This is just something new that I'm noticing with Chantal, but it looks like she's not getting her freaking sleep. You might want to spend more time in that brand new bed getting some rest, Chantal. I go from looking like you know, mid-30s to like, I swear, 50 if I don't wear makeup. Not- Ma'am, back all the way up. What are you trying to say? I'm 53. Do you understand? 53. I ain't got no makeup on right now. Okay, I'm just keeping it casual. I'm just relaxing while I'm doing this react to you. I just look like I'm 50. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Looking like a silver fox. What's wrong with that? Talk to me. What's wrong with that? Girlfriend, I'm 53 and don't look 53. And if I clean myself all the way up, I look even younger. And? And? Ma'am, you look older than your age. And internally, you're probably even older than that because of your lack of health and your lack of mobility, which is your fault because you don't take care of yourself. But isn't it funny, y'all? Isn't it interesting and ironic? This one, when she was in Canada, how she liked to age shame people, calling people grannies and whatnot. Now look at her. Karma's having a fine time with her. Angela, hello, how are you? The cameras seem to roam, yeah. You go with smoky eye? Thanks, Caddy Pickles. Um, yeah, the cameras, okay, so it depends. Like if you're driving, you get out to the deserts, which is like there's a lot, but the ones we go to, um, when you're driving along the long stretch of desert area, you'll see all kinds of camels all over. Now, um, they're owned by Kuwaitis, and usually there's like a guard, a camel guard with them. Um, but sometimes they're just roaming around freely, and the guard's not around, and whatever. If there is the guard, we usually just say, do you mind if we hang out with your camels? And they're like, nah. We don't do anything to hurt them, so. So basically, you found a place with unguarded camels and decided it'd be a good idea to make them into content. And you have no idea if the camels were healthy or sick. One camel, people noticed that there was poo running down its leg. It could have been ill. And you thought it was a good idea to approach wild animals. Animals that did not belong to you, not familiar to you. Might have been sick with something. You thought it was a good idea. And not only walk up to the camels, but actually touch them. Put your arms around their necks the dominant position and make them feel intimidated and make them feel uncomfortable. And there was more than one camel roaming around. You're so lucky that nothing happened to you, Chantal. You're so lucky that all that camel did was give you a warning kick. I was also on Goose Chuck's channel a little while ago this morning during her live chat. And it was mentioned that the kick that the camel gave you was a warning kick. It was lining you up in position for another kick, a harder one. 
you're lucky that that kick did not connect. It, it could have done some serious damage to you. So you mess around with the camels, you F around, you're going to find out. You might want to leave those animals alone. Hello, Cynthia. My leg, it didn't really hurt, so my leg's okay. Chris and Maddie, hi. Yeah, but that camel wanted to. It was lined up after it kicked her. It charged at her with his head all up in the air like, I just wish you would. You're so lucky nothing happened. How are you guys? Yeah, Julia's always beezing in the background, eh? Julia. <laughs> I'm 53 and I hate pics of myself. My daughter took my profile pic. Oh, Robin, you're beautiful. You know, there's nothing wrong with looking older. I mean. <sighs> really? There's nothing wrong with looking older. You're right. There is nothing wrong with looking older. There's nothing wrong with being older. Being older is a badge of honor. That means you're still here. You've been through some things. You've got some life experience, but you have always shamed it. You've always shamed people who are older. Those who might be senior citizens or silver foxes, as it were. And I find it hilarious that you make fun of older people when you are yourself are getting older. You're almost 40, so... How much longer is that age shaming going to happen with you being 40? And by the way, Chantal, there are older people, much older people that live fulfilling lives, healthy, happy lives, much more than you. So I guess age isn't about how old you are. It's about the quality of your life. I don't know. I don't mind. I mean, whatever. We are who we are. You know, everyone ages. Hi, Simply Ravishing. You know. Yeah, they have to roam around and get, you know, the desert's perfect for them. Hello, Kaylee. In 15 minutes, feel your Robin. Angela, you don't look that from your picture. What is 59? Sorry, I have to tuck in my thing. Um, hi, Barbara. I mean, everyone looks different at different ages, you know. Hey, Rosalia. Well, technically legally here my muslim name is miriam because you know i filled out the form and took my shahada and everything but it's not like not legally like it's not legal. oh by the way i just noticed something did you buy another hundred subs again chantal because it dropped down like the other day to 98.8 .8. now it's back to 98.9 .9. did you buy another hundred subs let's investigate hold on Let's investigate. Hold on a minute. Let me just look. I'm, I'm looking. Because that number keeps changing. Y'all give me a second. Hmm. I'm going to keep an eye on that, Miriam. You're, you're so trying to get to 100K before your birthday, aren't you? That, that's the goal, to reach 100K by your birthday. Although, forgive me, I don't get it. What is it? It's a number on a page that does not connect to the engagement. It doesn't connect to the number of views you get or the money you get. If anything, you're an idiot because you're spending money and you're not making that money back, are you? Your views are in the toilet. So what is the point of spending money to reach a certain number when it has nothing to do with the success of your channel? What, what is that? Can you explain it to me? Does it mean any kind of special privileges with YouTube? I don't, I don't understand. Do you just want to be able to say that you've, you're at 100K and everybody else isn't? Well, that's just a bunch of nonsense because there are channels much smaller than you in number that are doing much better because they're putting out quality content. And many people have called you out and said, your content is boring. Your subscribers have said, we want interesting stuff. We want fresh content. We want something innovating. We want something creative. Put some creativity in your work. 
and you won't do it. You are determined, you are dog determined to stick to the same content you've always done and never change. Really isn't like a legal, legal thing, but. And look at the views. Y'all look at the views here. So she posted this 12 hours ago. Look at the views, 5,461. And that's for a live, that's not for a video, that's for a live. Her numbers keep dropping. When your numbers drop like that, Chantal, you know, that is a message from the subscribers saying, this is boring. You're down to those diehards. They'll watch anything you put out there, but everybody else, they're jumping ship. Yeah, I don't think some people have noticed yet, you know, because... It's not dissolving enough. Ew. Looks like chunky freaking. Cynthia, you're new. I thought I saw you before. Thank you, Teardrop. I'm, I'm 39. I think if I wear makeup, I think I look like 36 or something. No, you don't. <laughs> I love the kafia. Well done. We also had a loot of rain here in Dubai. Julie, I heard that. Yeah. How are you liking Dubai, by the way? Making crap dinner? Yum. Yum. Is that me? Oh boy. You feel 74. I feel old too. You have such a pretty face. Thank you, Kaylee. Thank you, Diana. I don't feel in mind, but my body feels older, Ariana. It just like, I don't know. I do too. I do miss you and Sola's couple channel. I hope he's doing well. Any chance you can do a grocery store vlog? Yeah, for sure. Next time we get groceries, yeah. Um, what is the point in getting groceries? She doesn't like fresh food. She likes processed food. All she eats is takeout. What is the point of a grocery haul? What is the point? If she did a grocery haul, what would we see? A bunch of junk food, a bunch of processed food, tons of cheese she doesn't need to eat. Her hauls are all the same. Just got a few top up things the other day. Nothing worth filming like pita bread, pita bread and labna. We always need top ups. So bread and cheese drinks. Okay. Now Soda. It's building. This is going to make your, your skin, your joints, everything is supposed to make it like help. And you know what? I feel, I don't knock on wood. Mashallah, I don't feel any pain right now. Like, I don't know. I've been taking those vitamin uh, vitamin injections. It's called Neurobion, and it's like vitamin B12, B6, B1, and some other B vitamin, biotin. You know, FFG did a stream, and she saw something, and she noticed something that I noticed too, but I wasn't quite sure that in the video where Chantal was out for the day and she had to go to the clinic, she was moving fine before that. But then as she was turning the corner to go to the clinic, suddenly she started dragging her foot. That looked odd to me too. Like right when she got to the clinic, she was dragging her foot. And it seems like the dragging of the foot thing is sporadic. Like it's not all the time. If you've got nerve damage in your leg, it's going to be there all the time. It's not going to be just sometimes yes, sometimes no. So it seemed like this liatica that she's got is the same. She suffers from it when she wants to get sympathy and maybe make a little bit extra money, but then suddenly it disappears. She's got liatica, but she can plop down in her chair and move around the room just fine. But go to the doctors right when she's ready to maybe get some meds suddenly she's dragging that foot i've been taking collagen i've been taking high doses of vitamin d um because women past a certain age like if you know what's really sad chantal you it's so sad to me if you have to go to a doctor to get vitamin injections you know what would be easier than getting those injections and having to go to a doctor to get the vitamins injected into you. Eat healthy food, stupid. Eat healthy food. 
if you eat healthy food, you get the vitamins directly, the natural way versus having them just shot into you. You shouldn't have to go to a doctor to get vitamins injected into you. Just eat healthy food. Are you so addicted to fast food that in order for any vitamins to reach your system, they have to be injected into you? Just eat healthy food, dummy. Especially if you've gone through menopause because of my surgery, um, my hysterectomy, you know, your bone density can diminish more quickly than others. I don't know why I'm whispering like Salah's not sleeping, but. <laughs> um, oh, really, my Devanisha? I subbed a couple of days ago. I'm also 39. Nice. Sophia, I love your coffee. Yeah, yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I, I really like it. Should put it in warm water and let it cool, Chantal. You're very smart. Thank you, Cynthia. Baby face. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Kind of like my, my mom, too, it looks younger. She's like, I think, almost 60. I'll tell you what, Chantal, I will agree you have a baby face if you take all the filters off. Take off the skin smoothing filter, take off the big eye filter, take off the contour filter, all the filters. Let's see what you really look like. And if you got a baby face, I will say, yes, you have a baby face. But if not, I'm going to call you out for it. Oh, really, Diana? Yeah, I could be your mother when's trends. Well, I always like having more mothers. Hi, Ava. You love the video with DC Media? Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to focus. I always go back between like, I don't want to focus on drama because I hate it. And mentally it's draining. Um, but then again, when you know I see something that's like, I don't know, I, I have trouble shutting up when I see like, Something that I feel should be pointed out. Are you sunbathing? Alhamdulillah, yes. Her hair is growing back. Yeah. Oh, you can lose hair with COVID. Hi, Melly. 9.15 p.m. here. You're playing Fortnite. Is that fun, Melly? Vanessa, the video on DC was epic. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I would say. <laughs> Scrape go, hello. Foodie, Bali, I'm watching you because I want to make Lizzie jealous because she is sleeping now and will be upset she missed your life. <laughs> Peace, nice design you're wearing. Thank you, Bali. <clears throat> Doesn't not having enough vitamin D make you, vitamin D is like very important for your bones. It's very important vitamin, yeah. No, you said she had, she had me at, she, so she was 16 when she got pregnant and she had me at 17. So how old would that make her? 56 or 57? It's, um, it's Mariam, M-A-R-I. Maddie, you can call me whatever you want. Vitamin D3, yeah. And again, if you need vitamins in your system, just eat healthy food. You don't need injections for that. Seriously, you don't. Spending money for what? For injections when you can just eat healthy food. And Kuwait is filled with healthy food. You're just not eating it. It's natural to defend yourself. I know, yeah. And I'm going to try to do it without like... You know, I hate that. I hate the fact she says, I'm defending myself. Against what? Who's attacking you? People reacting to you, to the videos that you decide to put out it's not an attack. It's just other people giving opposing opinions. Y'all are seeing the chat right here, right now. Do you see any reaction channels attacking Chantal? Any at all? This lie was done last night, 13 hours ago. I don't see any reaction channels in there bothering her. And this is open chat, so anybody could have come in. So who's attacking you? You know, Chantal, as weird as it may sound, excuse me, as weird as it may sound, I think you want people to attack you. I think you want the drama just so you can play the victim. You want people to attack you. And even if they're not, you will say that they are just so you have something to talk about on your channel because you need content. 
you've done many different types of things on your channel and other channels. You've done your regular mukbang content and you've done the reaction content, which it, it is what it is. When you decide to talk about reaction channels, you are in essence at that moment being a reactor. You've also done the ASMR stuff, which sucked. And I'm so offended out by because I do ASMR, like ASMR, ambiance videos. You've done cooking videos, which were trash. And then you decided to do gaming content, which was also trash. You're doing a bunch of things that you're not really interested in. You don't have a passion for. Hence the reason why you never get very far. And other people on YouTube that do have a true passion for those things who want to do quality content, they will spend money on the best equipment as best as they can. And they will upgrade accordingly. And they will pay attention to camera angles and what the viewers are saying and what the subscribers are saying and just make improvements as they go. This is not you. You think because you're Foodie Beauty, AKA Everyday Miriam, that whatever you put out, it's gonna be a success. Well, if that's true, why are your views so low? You know, it's, I haven't always done this, obviously. I've name called a lot, but I'm trying to like not be like that because honestly, when it comes down to like brass tacks, oh, excuse I don't me, I don't know where I got that saying from. Um, in the end, how someone looks, how much they weigh, doesn't what they eat, what they do, like none of that matters when you're like trying to argue with someone. Like, if you want to have an intelligent argument with somebody, like, you know what I mean. That doesn't matter. What matters is like the main there's no ha so there's no having an intelligent conversation with you for a few reasons. A, you're not intelligent. And if you are, you're intelligent in ways you shouldn't be. You are conniving and manipulating and just evil. That's where your intelligence lies. Like she Chantal is smart in ways she shouldn't be smart. She put all of her intelligence in man, being conniving, being manipulating, scamming people, telling lies. But there's no true positive intelligence here. Not only that, but she's not a person that she will talk to someone and listen to what they have to say and take their point of view into herself and think about it. There's no talking to her. She wants to talk to you and have you just shut up and listen to what she has to say, but she's not going to take any other viewpoints, any other opinions, any other feelings into account and let those things help give her a brighter, uh, a broader worldview and learn from it. So hence the reason why you can't have an intelligent conversation with this woman. She's not about learning and growing inside and out. It's about, I'm just going to just stay as I am because I'm always right. I'm never wrong. And I'm not open to other people. I'm just open to what I want. Or pointing out important things. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Watch Mel and CC. JFS yesterday and lost some brain cells. Now that's some drama. I like saw some clips. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> like, I, I saw some clips and like, cause I used to watch him. So he always gets recommended. Um, I don't know. I don't want to be mean to this person that's with him, but I don't think like she's really, I don't know. They're like, it seems like ever since they're together, all they do is like get super drunk and like, she's apparently lost her channel. And like, I don't know there were some moments where it looked like she was just like tweaking out. So I don't think that, I don't know if they're like really healthy for each other. If all they do is get super drunk and you know, like, I don't know. That's my opinion on it though. I like, he, he, he won't want to lose his channel, you know? Okay. So for those who are wondering, what is she talking about? Like I spot things around YouTube and I know that house of Hannibal, he covers uh Cobra a lot. So Cobra, is hooked up with a woman named Naked and Laughing, and, and they're both total train wrecks. So imagine two train wrecks in the same house at the same time talking to each other. They're both 
toxic train wrecks. And so if you've got two train wrecks bouncing off each other, there's bound to be friction and there is. So that's who she's referring to. Hi, Susan. <laughs> okay, thank you for being here. Hi, Alexis. CK or Tom. Hey, how you doing? Long time no see. Southwest US. I was pregnant at 16 and had my first at 17. No way. That's that's just like yeah, just like my mom mirror uh teardrop. What alleyway or beach did Julia come from? Julia? Are you a street cat? You know she is Chantal, because I just can't see you being that kind of person that you would spend money on a pet. You would rather get it off the street. You're, you're, you're not that person you would buy a pet from somebody. You snatched her up off the street. That's what you did and try to use her for content. Who knows? Maybe she was. Just don't feed into it. Stay away from the dark side. Yeah. Vitamin D, serotonin, and melatonin. No way. Production, really? Coffee is my love language. No, you can call me Chantal Tristan Nadi. You can. Yes, I have four wonderful grandbabies. Mashallah, Robin. Like, imagine you're a cat, okay? Like, I, I know people think, like, oh, they don't have a long life expectancy, but I don't know. Like, cats always trying to get out of the house right they want to go outside and socialize well not socialize with other cats but wait what i'm a cat mama and what is this nonsense about cats don't have a long life expectancy my cat booger is over 10 years old and she's perfectly fine and she's healthy and i've known other cat owners they've had cats for what 20 25 years and that's pretty old in cat years, but if you take care of your cat or your pet, because the same could be said about a dog too, and parrots live even longer. But if you take care of your pet, they can live even longer past the expectancy. And also, because I had Booger, I got her when she was a baby. She doesn't want to go outside. She knows that, that my home is a safe place. She has no desire to get out. Maybe Julia wants to get out because she's not happy there and because she's a street cat. She's used to roaming around. So there's that. Be in nature, that's my thought on it, but as long as they're well fed and stuff, especially the cats who hang around the parks and things, they're getting fed. There's always kibble around, you know, and they probably fish in the sea. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the drain rats are feeding them. Sorry, never have I ever. I didn't see it. Fifty-two. I saw. No, you said she had you at sixteen. No, she 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 was pregnant at sixteen, and I think she gave birth at seventeen. Thank you, Diana. Vanessa, how's my back? I just had my cortisone injections. Oh, you have to get them for like for back pain. Um. I had an injection, no name. So like right now, I don't feel any pain. I'm not like, mashallah, I keep saying that because, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but. Um, and it's amazing to me that she's complained about sciatica pain. And what makes that worse is just constant sitting, constant laying down. You got to move around to help ease the pain. So again, her sciatica pain is just sporadic. It comes and goes. But anybody who's ever had it, once you find out that this constant sitting, constant laying down just aggravates it, even after it's over, why would you do more sitting like in the gaming chair? Wouldn't that just make it come up again? Ever since I had my last injection of vitamins and um, from, they gave me Olfen, Olfen, O-L-F-E-N or something like that. It's an NSAID. They don't do like, I think it's like an, maybe with like a, I don't know. I thought it was steroid shot because when they inject me, like I feel weird, but I don't know. Maybe mind over matter. I mean, your body is probably freaking out. Oh my God, there's actual vitamins in us right now. 
don't know they don't know how to act <laughs> your body's so used to not getting anything healthy and they want to get some vitamins it's like what we have actual vitamins here crazy i was at the store tonight and bought dill pickle chips <gasps> ava let me know how you like them i follow you from italy since 2020 rosella i'm a painter and working with your videos on the background chills me a lot a big hug from verona city of love <gasps> wow rosella the fair verona <laughs> romeo and juliet <laughs> thank you that means a lot to hear that that's so cool thanks for watching me that's a long time three cats over 20 years oh wow kaylee that's yeah so so yeah like so this person in the chat just says i've got a cats that are over 20 years old so what what, what was that you were saying again about cats not living very long chantal he's being a 41 percenter what does that mean don <laughs> if you change your name you look amazing as usual hi miss southern bill yeah i did i'm rebranding <laughs> I still, I still would like to give a round of applause to the person that grabbed the foodie bee handle. Who, who are you? I would like to give you a round of applause. That was genius. That was so well played because clearly that has affected her views ever since then. Ever since she went to everyday Miriam, it has affected her badly. Yeah. Our Olsen. Oh, excellent. I was worried. Yeah. Thank you. I hope you feel better too. <laughs> Never have I ever. Candy, what's wrong with my makeup? <laughs> too harsh? You know the vitamin injection you're getting is only to be done once a month. Once a month? I think they prescribe it more often if you're healing for something. For long-term maintenance? Yeah, Miss Southern Bell, I think the injections help. Yeah, the vitamins. Next. Better than I've been sleeping. Look at this. Hi, Italian from South Africa. You made it. How is it? What's the weather like there? There's always rude ones, yeah. Like Salah's in the house. Clearly he's awake. Why is she whispering? Julia, come here. You're cute. Everyone wants to see you. Will you do more Abaya Modest clothing hauls? Yeah, for sure. I want to try to see if I can find anything, maybe some new Abayas for Ramadan because of Ramadan's like. Yeah, but how are you going to manage that? A while ago, you did a video where you're wearing the floral Abaya, like a really loose one. And you said yourself in that video that you, at that time, you were wearing the biggest size Abaya that Kuwait has to offer commercially. Anything above that, you would have to have custom made. So why not have some custom made abayas made for you, Chantal? Because the abayas that you've been wearing, they don't look comfortable. They're very, very tight to the point we could see everything. They bind to you. I can't imagine that's comfortable in hotter weather. So where are you going to find these abayas? If you can't go to a store locally and get one, even if you order online, where are you going to find these abayas if you're getting too big to wear them? A month to get out your abayas and things. <laughs> so, haven't you been sleeping well? Not terribly, Lexi. B12 is good for your nerves. You can take vitamin pills too. Yeah, true, Mary. Most creatures do. What's your other account, Just Eight? Yes, Rosalia, we do. We will do Ramadan. It's a summer, but we had a rainy day on arrival. I don't mind us. It was nice and cool. It's summer in South. Really? Oh wow. Yeah, we already know how Chantal is going to handle Ramadan. She's not going to do it properly, where she's going to pray and all of that. She's probably the only person in history that's ever gained weight during Ramadan. What she's going to do is what she's doing right now. She's going to sleep all day when she should be praying and be up all night eating after sundown. So the summer's like the winter months there. Take a teaspoon. Yes, nutritional yeast is good too. Okay, good night, Kaylee. 
Oops. Started walking towards the other camel would like intercept me and like want me to pet it. And then whenever like um I went to leave, it started to like I was like, I gotta go. But like it was wrapping its big neck around me kind of tighter and like pushing me more. And I was like, whoa, like what are you doing? And then I was like, I'm getting out of here. And I started backing away and then it kicked me. And then it was like chasing us away. Oh, really, Mary? <sighs> Hi, Crystal. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, West Coast, I don't know. I, 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 I kind of regret doing that because I've been trying to stay away from it, you know? So no more uh, weeds bees in for me. What's your sun sign? Are you a river or just a tough and quit wearing hijab to fit in? So Lexi Lamington says, what was Salah's reaction when the camel started chasing you? Yeah, about that. So Salah is supposed to be your loving husband. What loving husband would let his wife go around wild animals like that, unguarded? He wasn't even next to you to protect you. He was just standing back and letting whatever was going to happen, happen. Kind of points in the direction he wanted something bad to happen to you. Um, no, I did actually. I'm a convert, yes. So I was like, it's mad, it's mad. <laughs> the camel's mad. So I was like, oh no. <laughs> Thanks for being you. Oh, Blondie Barstow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much, that's so sweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> you gotta live a little every now and then. Well, for me, it's just cause look, I was always addicted to it, so it was hard to stop. But I noticed when I was doing it there, I was like less motivated and more tired to go out and do things. So, you know what I mean? And I see not much has changed, huh? Because you're in Kuwait, what are you motivated to do except to eat? You're in a different country, different environment with Salah. No good changes here. According to you, moving to Kuwait was a good thing. And I think we can all agree it's been a very, very bad thing. Such a beautiful religion. It is, yes. And that's not Kuwait's fault. And it's not the fault of the Muslim people or the Muslim faith has everything to do with her. Because wherever you go, there you are. And you take your issues with you. You're always welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Camels seem, seem to have a thing for you. Yeah, there's so at least there's always one. What are you doing? What are you doing? She adopted me as a baby. Oh, what cube, what cube. Desert Rose, hello. You fancy post for Ramadan, yes. You look tired, dang. Yeah, pew pew, Tasha. She I looks tired now. And I couldn't go back to bed. You know, sometimes like after Fajr, I just like try to rest a bit more, even though you're supposed to stay awake. But I uh, have trouble. I'm all dolled up just to like be on camera. I switched out a little past summer. They're all around there, especially for ones. Yeah. Moving ahead. Does it rose? That's good. Yeah, it tastes like bovine. Like, I don't know. It's a weird aftertaste. Hijab is optional. Um, yeah, like, like you're not forced to wear it, but because I'm Muslim, yeah, it's like a requirement. Ads just popped up for me, complete jump scare. Really? <laughs> Gotta make that dough. 
They're so good. It's like, it sounds terrible, but it's not. It's so good because when you blend the avocado, they blend it with like honey and they put nuts. Talking about food again. And maybe some milk, I think. It's so good. It's so creamy. It doesn't taste any, it doesn't taste like avocado. Okay, I'm just gonna put my thoughts on the table. Let's see what you guys think. So we all know that Chantal, 100% of her income comes from being online. And it's made me think lately, why would she not care about how much money her YouTube channel makes if she's depending entirely on the income she gets online? She doesn't have a side job or a side hustle like locally, like a local job. So if you depend 100% on what you get from, say, YouTube, why would you almost purposely tank your channel and let your income go down the toilet? Unless there was a side hustle where you're making money, at which point it might foster a viewpoint of, because I'm making money over here, I'm not caring about what I make over there. So I'm wondering, Chantal, do you have a bunch of feeties in your back pocket now? Is that why you don't care? Maybe you're contacting those feeties or they're contacting you via, say, Scamio or your Instagram, and they're paying you for custom content, and that's why you don't care about your channel? Because for all we know, this is supposed to be 100% of your income. So if you've got your place to pay for, and maybe Salah's got another place that he's at, and you're paying for two households, plus your groceries, plus whatever bills, like, where's this money coming from? I'm not in your pocket, like, examining what goes in there. I'm just saying it looks kind of weird that this is 100% of your income. You're not working locally at a local job where you can get extra money. So you being almost housebound, you would have to find something where you can stay at the house. Why are you not caring about your channel? Is it because you've got a side hustle and that's making you lazy? Uh, what do you mean? I ended up working with my mom yesterday. Yeah, I know I didn't. <laughs> yeah, like mine is kind of hiding my brows, yeah. <laughs> Which bagels are better? I haven't had Me too. Me. She has some crunchies and now she's gonna clean herself. hard to make friends exactly blondie like it really is it's hard to trust people but I don't know I try not to let it like completely make me make me completely jaded but it is hard you know making friends is easy if you present yourself in the right way if you're a good person and you have you find people that have a lot in common with you and you make a point to say, learn the language of whatever country you're in so you can be more social and you can make conversation with people. And if you got a YouTube channel and if you're worried about potential haters that might expose you for one reason or another, just don't tell people about your YouTube channel. Don't walk up to someone and say, I'm Foodie Beauty and I've got an almost 100K channel. Don't offer up that information. Then they won't know. Look, I don't, um, for the pie crust, this time I had, I didn't use olive oil because I'm low. Oh, Storm, the cooking videos. Yeah, coming soon, actually. I'm starting to feel a lot better. You got mail. <laughs> HTML, go on MySpace. Yeah, HTML is hard for me. Yeah, Chrysalis. Hard to trust. Um, you have to use about three quarters. So if you put like, two and a half cups of flour. She's We're talking about food. Food. I'm out. Form spring? No. 
If you had to use the phone, you had to, yes, you had to wait for somebody to stop using the phone line for the internet. Customizing my background on MySpace. Yes, Patrick. I remember the MySpace. God, that takes me back in time for a minute. MySpace, my God. <laughs> that was ages ago. I was on MySpace. Everybody was on MySpace. MySpace was so cool. You could customize your profile, add music, really just deck it all the way out. Everybody was talking on MySpace. There was MySpace before there was YouTube, and it was grand. I, one of my closest friends that I just got through talking to a few minutes ago, we've known each other for, what, 15, 20 years because, because of MySpace. I remember those days. Those were good times until whoever took it over screwed it all up. It's 2 a.m. here. Yeah, the time difference is crazy. Yeah, I know, right, Desert Rose? His chair, yeah, it's more comfortable, like while I'm having these flare-ups, Lexi, like the other chairs. Chantal, make up your mind. Are you feeling better or are you having a flare-up? First, you said you were feeling better. Now you're saying you're having a flare-up. Listen. If you're having a flare up, that means you can't be sitting in that chair. First of all, Miss Liatica, you cannot sit in a chair like that and be comfortable. With all those pounds of pressure pressing on your lower back and that nerve, you're not comfortable. And if you have to shift even a little bit, you are wincing in pain. So make up your mind, either you're in pain or you're not in pain hard. Good night, Regina. Thanks for being here. I can't stand Twitter, but most love it. I don't get it. I, I really hate it, too. I don't have it. She says she hates Twitter, but she's on Twitter. And we know that because she's included little tweets from people on her community post. She's on Twitter. She is. She's she's looking around. She's spying around. Twitter, I don't check, but people like lately have been sending me things. Yeah, sure. People send you things. No, they ain't. No one's sending you anything. You're on Twitter looking for any little thing that you can turn into a gotcha moment. You're on Twitter. You're just being all covert about it. But I, people have been talking crap about me on there for years and I haven't even seen probably 2% of it. That was an admission. People have been talking on Twitter about me for years. How would she know that unless she's been on Twitter for years? So. He hasn't really been gaming, honestly. So <laughs> we're just trying to uh, keep busy. So uh, Just8 says, what does Salah game on? He doesn't do gaming anymore. The gaming channel is done. It's finished. He can't do gaming content anymore because of what happened. If he went back on there to game, which he sucks at, I've watched his gaming streams. They are a joke. He's a lamer gamer. Like He would have to deal with people just giving it to him in the comments. So the gaming channel's done. The couple's channel is done. And I know he's probably salty about that, but at the same time relieved because by not going on the couple's channel or having the gaming channel, he doesn't have to deal with Chantal so much. So it was kind of a weird blessing in disguise for him. See with other things and working, paying attention to each other and doing things together and stuff like that. And you gotta know if that's true, oh, he's spending more time with me. He's spending more uh, attention on me. Don't know if that's true. I suspect that's a lie. I suspect that he's doing his thing, perhaps with his friends and his family. But let's just say for devil's argument that she's telling the truth. Then you got to know she's happy about that. Because by his gaming channel just being completely X'd out, that means more attention for her because it's all about her. Don't pay attention to this over here. Pay attention to me. Me, 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 me. Give it all to me. She doesn't like the idea of somebody having personal interests and things they want to do. It takes away from time with her. Although time with her is not pleasant. 
<laughs> Thank you, Fox and Glare. Why would I live here by myself? It doesn't make any sense. Nobody, nobody. It's all bull BS. <laughs> Do you think you'll ever go back to your pretty beauty? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't, I really don't think I want to. So that's the narrative we're going with now. I don't think I want to go back to foodie beauty. Yes, you do. If for no other reason, because people are having trouble finding your channel under everyday Miriam. So why wouldn't you want to go back? You see the difference in your new name and the views you're getting. You want that handle back for that reason, if no other. Because people are having trouble finding you. And honestly, Chantal, new name or not, you are still acting like foodie beauty. You're still doing the same mukbangs. You're still raging. You're still boring. It's just foodie beauty with a different name. The behaviors are still the same. The viewpoints are still the same. There's nothing different here beyond the name. You know. I don't think so, bread and butter. I don't think that I, I, I used to think about it like before when I was live streaming more, but I, I don't want like to live stream my whole life, you know? What? Julia's bilingual. I changed my name to my Muslim name. Just, I don't know. I'm tired of Foodie Beauty. No, you're not. You're not tired. If you were tired, you would be entirely different, and you're not. I have to complain. I'm so lost BFF and E-game sitting on the floor now. <laughs> you got it. Love, Julia. Thank you. Yeah, and that's an interesting point that somebody brought up in her chat. Patrick Sawyer says, do you think you'll ever go back to Foodie Beauty? Your cameo is still under that, isn't it? So if she's tired of Foodie Beauty, why not change her cameo then to reflect the new name? She's still keeping the Foodie Beauty handle under Cameo. If you want to turn over a new leaf and do something different with a whole new attitude and outlook, wouldn't you change the name on that too? They have no proof. They never do. Like, it's so stupid. Why would I? I it doesn't make any sense. Why would I live by myself? Because nobody else could stand to live with you. How about that? You're an insufferable person. You rage. You have mood swings, you're insecure, you're jealous, you're messy, you're sloppy, you're dirty. Why would anyone want to live with you for even five minutes? No one. Nobody. That's why you're by yourself. Like, really, logically, why? Well, is there a reason? I can give you one. And I've said this before. I think... When Chantal was in Canada the last time, the reason why she went back to Kuwait, or at least part of the reason, is because she is already paying for a place in Kuwait. For her to go back to Canada and get a place of her own, whether it was a studio or a one bedroom, that's a lot of money. A lot. And considering her bankruptcies and her bad credit, even more so. Because usually how it goes, if you have bankruptcies on your record and you got lousy credit, if somebody agrees to let you into a place, I would think they would ask even more money as a guarantee, as kind of like a security type of thing. That you're going to be a good tenant, that you're going to pay the rent. Either that or maybe ask for a guarantor on the rent. So without the bad credit, without the bankruptcies, just to get a place of her own, she would need, what, five or six grand since most studios and one bedrooms go for, what, 1500 So first and last month, that's three grand. Uh, utilities being turned on, all of that easily, five or $6,000. She probably didn't have that money when she went back. So she decided, you know what? It's going to be too difficult and too expensive to get a place here in Canada I might as well just go back to Kuwait where I already have a place and have a place to live. <laughs> Why would I come here to live by myself? Because you had nowhere else to go. Honestly, you had nowhere else to go. 
it's cheaper to play for a, a plane ticket to go back to Kuwait than to stay in Canada and get a place of your own with all of your financial issues, plus the bankruptcy that you have to currently pay on. Like, I don't know. I don't even know if that's possible. In this building, it's not possible. It's for families only. They don't know the culture here. The ignorance is apparent, <laughs> you know. It's definitely not for everyone. Julia's adorbs. Thank you, Angela. People are so unbelievable. The dang conspiracy theories. Yeah, like they don't even make any sense. Like, I don't know. It's weird not seeing or hearing him in your videos anymore. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Are you, getting chubby or are you, getting you know, Chantal says, I hate conspiracy theories. I hate drama. She loves it. She loves conspiracy theories. She, she loves it all. Are you kidding me? This is the woman that will make a live stream like this or a video, tell a bunch of lies, post everything. And as soon as she's done posting, she's running to Twitter. She's running to YouTube, watching the reaction channels, watching the live chats, looking to see what people say, to see if they believed her lies or if they poked holes in her lies. She's watching all of it. And then she reacts to it. Just fluffy. She's like a weird breed. I don't know what she is. She's like, looks like porty color, but then she's like got a smushed face like the Persian and long hair. I don't know. She's strange. They need to make drama where it doesn't exist. It's their livelihood. You nailed it. You missed the last laugh. <laughs> Joanna Wagner, I love catching lives. I vote for you officially ignoring all reaction and that BS. Time for better things. Can you block them so you don't have to even see what they're saying? Yeah, Joanna, mostly, yeah. Uh, like, I can just, like, not, not look or, I mean, sometimes I get sent things, but, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, she could do that. She could block everybody she doesn't like and not have to see a single thing or know when they go live, but she's never going to do that. So, Miss, I hate all reaction channels. She could block everybody and out of sight, out of mind. And she's not doing that. That means she wants to pay attention. I agree with you. It's probably better. No, I'm not naysayer. The big DNA tip. Julia, why are your feet like this? You're not allowed. It's illegal. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> She's cute. Rob. Next. Are you stupid? Really? Miss, I'm having a flare up. Look what she's doing right now, y'all. Straight up bending over her chair without an issue. Oh, wish, I wish I could have done that when I had sciatica, you big liar. <laughs> if, you, if you've had back problems, are you going to lean over in a chair like that, bending and arching your spine to pick up a cat? No, you're not. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Say hi to the people. Oh, she's purring. <laughs> Sweet girl. Say hi. What? What do you see? The ghost? Eh? <coughs> she's still a daddy's girl, yes. Sam's tail, yes. Scottish folds have the short snouts as well. Ah, oh, you. Oh, is it like a cloudy eye? What game do you want me to play, Stormy? Yeah, it's really, you know what? I'm noticing something. So we're 50 minutes in to the live stream. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Where is he? 
Now, I know he doesn't have to be on camera, but wouldn't we hear him moving around the house, like making breakfast or something? You could just tell somebody else is in the house. It's completely quiet. That's just weird. Nellie, I love you and kiss her head for me. I will as soon as my lip gloss works. Wait a minute. I object. Some Patrick Sawyer says you should get into World of Warcraft. I object. Why are you suggesting that to her? No. <laughs> you know what? Let me take that back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Spend that $50, $60 to get the game. Download it on a computer. And good luck if your computer doesn't have enough gigabyte space because it takes 100 gigabytes just to download the game. And then pay another $15 per month for the subscription. Go ahead, Chantal. Make an alliance tune because I'm on the horde side. That's right. I I'm a hoardy. Go ahead. Do all of that. Get into the game. Let me find out that you're in the game. I'll make a point to find you. Me and the Horde family, I'll call everybody in Ogremar and Silvermoon. We'll get together and have a little party on your behalf. First off, I'm going to kiss her extra for you, Melly. Thank you, Melly. That's sweet of you. We'll make her rage quit and wow. Thank you, love. You're always so sweet. You should get into work. I want to make I want to make a group of people who want to play like people I know like geezers, play phasmophobia all together. That would be fun. <laughs> World of Warcraft. No thanks. Aw oh, man. I was looking forward to some good times gonking her. No offense. None taken. Stay out of my game. Let's just hang out. The scary game freaks you out. That's fun. Can you play Sims again? I could, yeah. If you guys want to play Sims tonight, I can try. I'm not good at it. You guys will have to help me as usual. I have a cat with only one eyeball. Is it like a Cyclops or is it like one eye, one, no eye? <laughs> Ma'am, it's 2 a.m. Kina. You know, she calls herself a gamer, but there's not a single game that she really enjoys playing. Like she played Mario Kart. Why doesn't she play Mario Kart? But she claims to be a gamer. And as I remember it, there was one occasion where Salah gave her, what, over a thousand games, 2,000 games to play. So she's got nothing to do all day. Why not just find a game that she really gets into and she understands and she could play that on stream? Nope. Here, it's 9.57. I want to go have breakfast. I'm starving. I have my collagen. Now my hair will grow even more and my skin. Hopefully the bags go away. Nah. You can probably, oh no, the CPAP's gone. The kitchen sink burger, the burger includes ground turkey. Oh my God. What are you, why are you, what are you doing, you spaz? My game was broken in Desert Rose. Uh, Lexi, probably we're going to be going out, so I'll probably get something on the way. I'm broke, so it's nice to have the chat open to people who subscribe. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, who is this person? Uh, Creature Comfort says, I'm broke, so it's nice to have the chat open to people who subscribe. Well, She's not doing this open chat because she's nice. She's doing it because she's broke. And she's hoping that a few people that are coming in will sign up and become VIVs and give her that five bucks. There's nothing nice about Chantal. Her being nice is transactional. So if she ever got a lot of subscribers signing up as VIVs, you can best believe she would lock down that chat. I gotta come up with another perk for you, the Beezers, though, too. Hey, here's a perk that you've never thought of. How about doing quality content that has nothing to do with mukbangs? How about that? Do some quality, entertaining content. Make it members only if you want to. That's a great perk. Don't go for the easy stuff, like just making emojis, which you have other people make for you. You always go for the cheap stuff that means nothing. 
Try quality content. Julia's broken. Don't, don't mind her. <sighs> Hello, sweetheart. Is that really you, babe? Or is that a troll? No, that was a troll account or you. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, guys. So there, there's the law right there. Oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all seeing this? So there he is, Salah and Chantal saying, hello, sweetheart. Hello, guys, it's been a long time, miss you all. But notice something different about that handle. Tell me what's missing. His name's not in blue. He doesn't have a mod wrench. What happened? What happened, Salah? Are you in the doghouse, bro? She put you in the doghouse, didn't she? <laughs> what happened to your mod wrench, sir? What happened? She took your mod wrench away. Guys, it's been a long time. Miss you all. Oh, hi. Hi, babe. <laughs> we miss you. Yes. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> what are you doing babe what are you doing well let's stream four day okay belly that's crazy that's your husband he used to have a mod wrench in a blue name now it's not blue anymore what happened do they have a fight i'll check into it for sure well it comes salam shiki carnivore i have not i'm glad you lost a lot of weight though make a discord tier good idea crystal i think i will a discord are you serious as if chantal would ever be in discord or maybe she would she does get lonely but that's a lot of work setting up a discord monitoring it setting things up to where no nonsense goes on in there it, too much work for her if she can't do simple videos on youtube she's not going to bother with discord so we miss you yes <laughs> come back yeah that is him I thought it was a fake at first. <laughs> I was getting my block finger ready. No, I'm kidding. Hi, babe. What do you want to have for breakfast, babe? <laughs> Welcome back. We miss you. Yes. Why is she welcoming him back like they never talk? That's weird. Oh, he loves me so much. He's so devoted to me. Why are you welcoming back your own husband? Like you haven't seen him in a long time. Teardrop. <laughs> we like the video. That's funny. Other people in the chat have. Oh, there we go. So she gave him his mod status back. <laughs> she gave him the mod wrench back. But she took it away before. And just for the record, once you give somebody mod status, once they get that blue wrench, you know, it forever stays like that until you remove it. Just so we're clear. It's not like you, you know, not posting the channel for a while and then it goes away. No, you always have it until the content creator gets rid of it and they take it away from you. So why'd you take it away from him, Chantal? Yeah, me too. <clears throat> I almost deleted it. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, babe? What are you doing? I know, just a me too. The couple's channel is fun. People in the chat line is a lot. All is forgiven. Come back. Oh, no, 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 not all is not forgiven or forgotten. But go ahead and believe that Salah and go back on your gaming channel. Go ahead. We'll see you there in the comments. Hey, Melly, the gamer. <laughs> all is forgiven. Come back. <laughs> What are you guys getting for breakfast? I don't know. Allah, right, babe? It's up to you. It's up to him. I don't think she's whispering right now, just talking a bit quietly. Yeah. 
Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Shiki. Sausages, eggs, and chips, fries, beans, and bread. A lot of ketchup. Yum. I feel you. I know what you mean. Laying down is the most comfortable, you know. I will do a lap soon. <laughs> Biofreeze? What is that? Vitamin D, C, and zinc. That is healthy. Oh. I like going for long drives. It's like, you know what it is? Yeah, I did, Lexi. I got up early for Fajr. That's why I did. I usually go back to bed for a bit, but I didn't. Really? So you got up early for that. Then why do you have your makeup on? Shouldn't your face be clean of makeup for that? <laughs> I have bags under my eyes. When I had bad sciatica, the only thing that helped me was diclofenac. I do have that, Patrick. Maybe what? So Salah is in the chat telling her, babe, you must play GTA tonight. What, on her channel or your channel? <laughs> he wants you to play GTA. She couldn't figure out phasmophobia, and he wants you to play GTA. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I should take some. I don't even know what I'm taking right now. I can go get it. Oh, GTA is your game, Salah. Why are you suggesting for her to, to play it? Why don't you play it on your channel, bro? A beautiful wife gaming. Yeah, he always helps me. He he sets up my live streams on the laptop all the time. And... Shouldn't that be your job? Miss, I want to be a gamer and do gaming content. Shouldn't that be your responsibility? Like, if you want to do gaming streams or any other kind of streams, shouldn't that be your responsibility to work out all the issues and watch tutorials and figure out what you need to learn, learn it, and then apply what you learn? Why does he have to do all the work for you, for your content that you monetize? You must play GTA tonight. Babe, I'm bad at GTA. Oh, God. We're back to that. Oh, my God. It's just cringe. Calling him Babe. Babe, babe, you're here in the chat, babe. Ugh, don't make me vomit. You do it. <laughs> I can only drive for a little when I come home. Oh, do you drive by teardrop? It's not treats. You can't have more today. I was just going to say getting a deep good massage really helps, but you've got to find the exact spot causing the pain. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Ava, thank you for being here, Beezer. Glad to see you. Love your videos, Chantal. You're looking good, Mama. Thank you so much. You know, another observation. It's been a long, long, long time since I've seen Chantal do a live chat and get tons of super chats. It's been forever. I remember back in the day when super chats would be flying by and i mean flying like she was getting money hand over fist you know never mind the money she was making on google adsense but this woman would earn three or four hundred dollars every single time she did a live chat and you hardly see a super chat anymore it's just almost nothing so coupled with that plus the lack of membership signups per live Plus the view, she is not doing well at all. Yeah, probably should, Barso. Um, <laughs> Desert Rose. GTA. I don't know. I'm bad at it, guys. You're bad at all the games because you don't really want to play. Yeah, true, Patrick. Have you ever tried acupuncture? No. Okay, Just Eight says, what happened to the ASMR channel? Salah doesn't need to be in those. No, he doesn't. Yeah, so what happened to the ASMR channel? I can tell you exactly what happened. And it's the same attitude that she has with a lot of her different content. She goes on YouTube. She goes on TikTok. She sees what's trending. She sees what's popular. She goes to different areas of YouTube and she sees these different channels with tons of views. And she gets it in her head. Oh my God, they're making money doing this. Why can't I? So she creates a channel 
based on that type of content. She's paying, been paying attention to the ASMR community, the ambiance community, and she thought, oh, I'm gonna give that a try for monetization's sake. The thing is, there's no creativity in what she's doing. There's no love, there's no pride, there's no true interest, and it showed. So her ASMR slash ambiance videos were a joke. And because she didn't make immediate banging views off those first few videos, she just abandoned it. You know, if it were making a lot of money right off the bat, she'd stick with it just for that reason. But because any channel that you do on YouTube, whatever it is, it takes time to gain traction, to get attention. You got to keep pumping out the content and just be consistent. People look for consistency. They look for new content all the time. If you're not pumping it out, they lose interest because they want new things. And she's not creative enough for an ASMR ambiance channel. So she just let it go. Really? Does he think it works? Maybe, Lexi. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for saying hey, babe. <laughs> what happened to ASMR channel? Uh, it's hard maintaining three channels. It's not that hard if you got all the time in the world. How hard is it to put together an ambiance video or an ASMR video? It's not that hard. It's just that she's looking for the quick money right now. And something like that would take time to make money off of if she cared. No hate, genuine question is I am a big girl myself and struggle with my image. Do you find yourself attractive despite your weight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do miss him. Hi, Mistress Von Dracula. <laughs> How are you? It's like self-care, taking care of yourself, making yourself feel better by yourself. Yes. Yeah, you do feel better. <laughs> Just eat. Yeah, you can always have skin removal surgery, true. Find a pool. We have one here. So once they fill it up after the winter, yeah. Yeah, he does massage me, Lexi. No, he doesn't. Biggest blessing? Oh, boy. Life is a blessing in itself, honestly. Just waking up every day. I swear, I'm grateful for that. When no, you're not you don't value your life you're not taking care of your life you're so grateful for every little thing um you know it's not about body image as much as not <laughs> i'm grateful to wake up to doctors said someday i could wake up here oh i will cry come live in kuwait with us <laughs> oh tear <laughs> me being skinny is not that healthy because not so long ago I was very sick I'm a lot better oh Vanessa I wish you well yeah true but you have a point like it's not always just people who are overweight who are unhealthy but being overweight is unhealthy it is I mean you can't deny that you know I used to like body positive is just like not hating yourself but also I think it's important yeah it's like being overweight is not healthy. Like, look at all the health problems I have. I and you're not doing a doggone thing about. I'm baby. <laughs> no, that's G. <laughs> Anna G, hello. Spring makeup looks. No, I just do my own. I don't care about the, if you can't handle it. Me, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, people have done so many, like, the worst things ever that, you know, they think they're getting to me, but in a way, they make me more resilient. So, ironclad. Sure. Are the Kuwaiti styles very different? Yes. I think someone bought, bought subscribers for you because you jumped up, like, 9K. 
900, eh? Ah. I was thinking that storm too. Like I What? Pardon me. <laughs> we don't like you enough to buy your subscribers for you. <laughs> what is she talking about? This ridiculous idea. She's trying to say that some troll or some hater bought subscribers for her. Somebody went out to a site and they just happened to have all the login information for her account. And with that information, they just gifted her 800 fake subs. Really? You think somebody's going to spend money on you, Chantal? They're going to buy subs for you? Yeah, go with that. We, we all know that's a lie. That's you. You gave yourself away. You've been feverishly trying to get to 100K just for bragging rights. Everybody knows you want to get to 100K. You don't make that a secret. And you probably want to do it before your birthday. Just to be able to say, I reached 100K by my birthday. But that's ridiculous to suggest that anybody has your login information that links to your channel. They can go to a site like that, give that information and pay for subs. Are you serious? What are you smoking today? I didn't even notice until someone said something and then I you did notice. You did know mama, you've been caught in real time buying subscribers. You bought Natter subscribers too. You're obsessed with numbers on the front page. I don't know why, but you are. Even though that has nothing to do with your engagement or views or making money, you still are. You want to brag you got 100K. You bought those for yourself. I'm shocked and I'm like, yeah, that's the thing. And I asked like YouTube, I'm like, I... She would, of, why would anybody who's got 800 new subs that they know are fake go to YouTube and bring it to YouTube's attention? Why would they bring attention like that to YouTube and make them aware of it? Nobody, no one, nowhere. I'm afraid because like if, like if you buy subscribers, you can get in trouble, right? Yeah. But I asked YouTube, I messaged them like on the chat, support chat, and I said, don't worry about it. If it's bots, they'll just delete it like eventually. So my subs. So YouTube told you that if there's bot subs, that the bots will get rid of them. So they're basically telling you bot subs are wasted money because whether it's you buying them or somebody else buying them, which I think is hogwash, they're going to get gone. So what is the point of buying them? You're wasting your money on nothing. Let's go down, then I know. And whatever, I don't really care. I don't I don't really pay attention to that. Like if ever I reach 100K, if it ever happens, it happens. Good. You know, if not, well, good. <laughs> so you did put SGM in the dryer. <laughs> Apple please really is deleted, hopefully to get recap and get his life together. Do you like smokes puts in? Yes, puts person. I'm very resilient. And uh, yeah. And the more people want to bring me down, the more it makes me want to stay on top. So. But you're not though. You're not succeeding in any area of your life, Chantal. Every level is effed. Do you understand? Your health is in the toilet. Your views are in the toilet. Your money's in the toilet. You get a fake relationship, which is making you miserable. You're alone. You live like a hermit. You're housebound. Where exactly are you succeeding? Can you please point me in the direction of that area? Because I would like to see. I would like to know. You like to say that we are jealous of you, but my counterpoint is jealous of what? What do you have? that we don't have or that we can't get explain it to me because i'm confused how are we jealous of you how is your life enviable 
you don't even like your life. If you did, you wouldn't use a bazillion filters to disguise how you look. You wouldn't be inflating your own numbers. I mean, there's a lot of things that you're doing where you're either escaping or hiding something. Makes good food. True, Rob Roy. They can make hour long videos of Chantel walking to the car. Yeah, I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have. Can you wear makeup during Ramadan? Technically, Mary, as a Muslim, I'm not really supposed to wear makeup, but there's, I don't know. There's dispute about that. But uh, yeah, I still wear makeup. My husband told me he prefers me skinnier. He married me at 70 kg. I gained 40 kg. I've lost now from strict diet and I feel better. Good for you. Yeah, during Ramadan. Yeah, I probably won't wear makeup during Ramadan. I don't know. We'll see. At least not during fasting time. Lipstick you can accidentally eat. Oh, really? Ew. You can't even swallow like toothpaste. You have to be careful. I have to be a strong person. Okay, like she's just about done. So we'll just cut it off here. We're all, like we're getting close to the two hour mark. So I hope you guys enjoyed this react. If you have, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you so much for being here and have a good one. Bye now.